When my dad passed away three years ago, he left me, amongst other things, his collection of various electronic components. As you can see here, I've arranged them into this um, assortment um, container. So it wasn't like this, it was all mixed up uh, in a can or, or a box. And this isn't like those assortments that you can buy on eBay these days. I think my dad literally desoldered each one of these from various circuit boards um, that he had acquired over the many decades. Um, so it's a, it's a, I think that he was just painstakingly desoldering each and every one of these discrete components like it was worth doing. Uh, to think that nowadays you can get an assortment that has even more components than this for just a few dollars on eBay. Uh, it would be a shame to just throw these out, so I thought I'd try to make use of them. The challenge I set myself is, can I just make use of mostly these components? even limiting myself to whatever resistor values that were here and capacitor values as well uh, that can be found only in this kit now that's a bit too restrictive so I decided to keep in the spirit of that reclaiming of cheap components from even cheaper sources such as Pound World on Poundland so this used to be a garden ornament and the LEDs came from, I believe, um, a Christmas decoration. Uh, so I just used the container from the garden, the solar garden ornament. And there are the LEDs. Downloaded a circuit diagram that I found on the internet. And because I couldn't exactly replicate the resistor values in that circuit diagram, or the capacitor values, uh, it's kind of misbehaving now. So it's not behaving as the um, circuit was described. It's meant to be an LED chaser where you'd have actually five LEDs, one of which will be turned off, and it'll be a different one as it rotates to five different stages. Um, but in this state it's actually sometimes has one of the stages switched off, one of the transistors switched off, sometimes two switched off and I can count about instead of five different states actually four different states. So it's actually cycling through four different states where sometimes uh, sometimes uh, there are three or four of these switched on at any given moment. So, s serendipity maybe? It has a much more interesting pattern than the what was described for this circuit. I've decided to uh, adopt the no circuit board approach and just soldering all the components to each other without the help of a circuit board. I think the result is uh, interesting. Well, hope my dad would have liked it.